If you've been on my channel before, you know I love a hypothetical situation. So in today's video, I am going to be building my dream Sephora sale cart. And I've given myself a budget of $500. And I'm gonna go through and show you if I had $500 to spend, which I don't, what I would be buying during the Sephora sale that is upcoming. And while I'm going through my dream cart, I am going to be picking up a few things and I will let you know what items in my dream cart I am actually planning to pick up during the sale. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Let's go shopping. So the Sephora holiday savings event starts on October 28th, which is my birthday actually which is another reason I'm gonna pick up a couple of things for myself to treat myself as a birthday present. And it goes until November 7th. And each level of insider gets a different amount of percentage off at a different time. I'm gonna put all of that information down in the description box if you're interested in knowing that info. So usually for the Sephora sale, I am really excited about it. I'm usually like really trying to hold back from spending too much money. And for some reason this year, well, I know the reasons, there are several reasons, but this year I'm not really like super excited <laughs> about shopping. That's not what I mean. I don't really plan to pick up a lot from the sale is what I'm trying to say. There's not really a ton of things that I really want or need from Sephora. And I'm also trying to watch my spending for the rest of the year. So I am going to be buying a few things, a couple of things that I am restocking, like repurchases. And then I'm also going to pick up a few new things as well. So. Like I said, as we go through the cart, I will, of course, let you know what those things are. What are your thoughts on the Sephora sale? I am rouge, so I get 20%, but I still feel like that's not a huge discount, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like Ulta does 20% coupons or really good coupons, and they have a better point system quite often. So I find if I can buy something at Ulta, I would prefer to buy it at Ulta. So there are only certain brands that I really tend to buy during the sale like brands that I can only get at Sephora. So, okay, we are gonna start. I'm gonna go through the things that, honestly, if I had $500, I would love to pick these items up. They are things that, some things that have been on my wish list for a really long time, some things that are newer. Okay, so we're gonna start with the top of the cart. The first item in the cart is from the brand ColorWow. It's a hair product. I've never tried the brand ColorWow before. I've heard amazing things about their products. So this is the color security conditioner for fine hair. Anytime there's a conditioner or a hair mask or something like that for fine hair, I'm there. Because I have extremely fine hair. My hair today, I'm wearing it like natural. My hair is naturally pretty curly. I never ever wear it natural. So I'm trying to give my hair a little bit of a break from heat styling once in a while. So it looks like I have a lot of hair, but I actually don't have a ton of hair and it's very, very fine. So I'm super interested in picking up this conditioner. Uh, if you guys follow Chris Appleton on Instagram, which even if you don't care about hair products, he is definitely something to look at. He uses Color Wow a lot on his Instagram. He's a celebrity hairstylist. He's Kim Kardashian's hairstylist. So I'm really interested in the brand. This is one thing that I'm really interested in. There is another product, but it's sold out. It's been sold out on Sephora for a while. It's the Cult Favorite Firm and Flexible Hairspray. So I would add that to my cart, but it's, it's out of stock anyway. Okay, I love lip products. So of course I added quite a few lip products to the cart and I'm not gonna pick up most of them in reality. But one thing that I am interested in is the Rare Beauty lipsticks. I've heard wonderful things about them. I have a Sephora in Kohl's, literally right around the corner from my apartment, and they recently opened, and I did go in there when they opened, and I looked at the Rare Beauty display, and I looked at the lipsticks, and they look absolutely gorgeous. Like, the colors are really pretty, the packaging is really pretty, and I kind of swatched a lot of them, and the one that I think would suit me best, my preferences, is the shade Fun, which is described as a neutral mauve, which I thought was an interesting way to describe it. It looks to me pretty warm and I love a warm nude lipstick. So they look really pretty. I've heard wonderful things about these as well as the lip liners. If you've used the Rare Beauty lip liners or lipsticks, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to know. I don't really plan to pick this up during the sale because I have so many lip products and there are a couple of lip products that I am definitely gonna pick up. But this is one that's like on my wish list. If I had the extra money, I would definitely throw it in my cart. Not realistically going to happen this time, but 
definitely a, like a fantasy item. By the way, if you're looking for like recommendations from me of products that I love, I did recently upload a video of like if I had to start my collection over and only shop high end. So I basically gave like my absolute favorite product in each makeup category. That would be the best one to watch, especially because I just uploaded it very recently. I will link that down in the description box below. Okay, this is something that I am gonna pick up. Okay, it's been on my wish list forever. And in that video, I talked about the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, how much I love them. And so many of you recommended the shade Iconic Nude. And I've heard great things about it. It's iconic. It's an iconic nude. So this one is definitely one that I'm gonna pick up. The Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, I think are worth the hype. They're extremely creamy, but they last all day long. And this looks like a perfect, a neutral slash cool toned nude. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I wanna try it. I'm gonna pick it up. Another lip product that I originally didn't pick up and now after seeing reviews and stuff, I am kind of thinking about picking up. So this is one that's in the maybe. Like I may put it into my cart. It's gonna be like maybe throw it in at the last minute if I feel like I have the extra money to do so. So this is the Give Beauty Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Clean Lip Gloss. I particularly want the shade Sweet Tooth. It's described as a natural peach. Now, originally when I saw the swatches and like the promo photos for this collection, I thought the colors looked really pink leaning, really cool tone leaning, and those aren't my favorite colors to wear, really honestly. But this looks like more of a sheer color, and I did see some other creators use these products on their channels, and this actually looks like an absolutely gorgeous lip gloss. And I love the Give Beauty lipsticks. Like I have one of her matte lipsticks and I think it's so, so good. So I'm definitely like intrigued by the brand and I love a gloss. I just love a gloss. So this is one I may pick up. All right, let's get out of lip products for a second. We're gonna come back to them though, don't worry. But one thing that I would absolutely be buying if I had the money, <laughs> I would be picking up more of the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. I love her mini palettes. They are some of my favorite palettes in my collection, for sure. Like they're so, so beautiful. The four that I would pick up, yes, four, is the mini Zendo, which looks like a beautiful, like corally with a pop of like this silvery blue. Oh, so stunning, looks beautiful. I would also pick up the mini Glam, which I have the midi Glam and I enjoy that. And this just looks like a really condensed, like travel friendly form of it. I would also pick up the mini retro, which looks really pinky with deep like grays in there. Stunning, stunning. And then I would also be picking up the mini nude, which looks like a gorgeous neutral palette. I would be picking up all four of those. Do you have any of the four of those? If you do, let me know your thoughts. Like, do I need, do I need one of them? I mean, I need them. I will actually definitely at some point eventually pick all of them up. What I've been doing is I've been waiting till they go on sale. Like the mini gold went on sale on Sephora recently and I picked it up for half price. I haven't used it yet. I haven't used it yet. That's the other reason why I'm trying not to shop too much. I have so much makeup I haven't even used yet. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of those mini palettes. Something that I am definitely gonna pick up as a repurchase is the Inky List Oak Cleansing Balm. It is my most favorite cleansing balm that I've used. If you've been here before for a while, you know I've mentioned it because I constantly repurchase it. It's only $10.99. It comes in a squeezy tube, which is so convenient for a cleansing balm in my opinion. Like I hate like scooping my hand in a tub of cleansing balm. There's nothing grosser. That's not true but it's pretty gross. And it just does a really good job of removing my makeup. It's really basic ingredients. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's great. And it's 10.99 for goodness sake, like, come on. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing one of those. I'm almost out of the one I have. And I tend to pick one of these up every sale because it is a product that I'm absolutely going to get through. It's not like it's gonna sit on my shelf for two years. It's gonna be used, so. I will be picking up uh, a repurchase of that. Let's get back to the lip products for a second. The Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. I wanna get the one that's in the shade 2CCs, which is described as a pink. Now, I've heard amazing things about this gloss. I did own one of his first launch glosses, the original, like the not the plumping ones. Uh, I lost it. I'm so upset. I have no clue where it is. I lost it. And it was one of my favorite glosses, just absolutely 
beautiful on the lips. It had a minty sensation, but it wasn't too much. It had this really fine sparkle in it. I had, a, I think it was in the shade She is an Influencer. Oh my God, gorgeous, lost it. And it was expensive. That's actually another one I would probably repurchase in my cart. I'm, I would repurchase that one as well. But this one is his new one that's more of a plumping formula. I like plumping glosses. The burn doesn't really bother me that much. And I've again heard great things about this. Have you tried this gloss? Let me know your thoughts. One thing that I am planning to pick up is the One Size by Patrick Star, the Point Made Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen in the shade Busty Brown. So I am an eyeliner fanatic. Like every time I do my eye makeup, every time I use a liquid liner, whether I do a wing or whether I just line my upper lash line, I always use an, a liquid liner. And usually I use a black one and I've been looking for a brown one that actually looks brown. Like I have the KVD Mad Max Brown liquid liner and I love it, but it looks really, really dark brown. Like if you didn't know it was a brown liner, it, it looks almost black. I'm looking for something that's slightly lighter. And Morgan Turner recently used this on her channel and she said she really enjoyed it and it looked like the absolute perfect color that I'm looking for. So I am planning to actually pick this one up during the sale. It just looks like something that I'm really looking for and so I'm excited to pick that one up. Another lip product that I would be interested in, I'm not actually gonna pick it up, but I'll tell you why. So it is this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Squad Lip Set. So it has two of the Maracuja Juicy Lips, one of the Maracuja, it's hard to say, Maracuja Juicy Lip Sticks, and one of the Maracuja <laughs> Juicy Lip Plump. Wow. Uh, I've been wanting to try these products from Tarte. Of course, everybody's been talking about them. They went viral on TikTok, etc. Uh, I like that you're getting four for $39. I think that's a really good price. But with these gift sets, I'm not usually a huge fan of gift sets uh, unless I like every single product in the gift set. I have burned myself in the past where there's been four products. I've really only liked one of the shades. I've wasted my money. I could have just bought that one shade. You know what I mean? So looking at these shades, I love the one that's called the color Ginger. That looks like a perfect color for me. The other three colors aren't like ones I feel like I would be reaching for all the time. So I think I'm gonna skip out on this set. But again, if I had like a ton of money to just throw around, I would probably buy this, maybe keep one of the shades and gift out the other ones. I think that's also a good idea. But definitely let me know your thoughts on these. Of course, I know <laughs> I've heard great things about them. And I like this little set. I think it's great. I just personally don't think all the shades are for me. Okay, another eyeshadow palette that I would buy if I had the extra funds to do so is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette, like the old one, the old one. Because I have a YouTube channel, buying old eyeshadow palettes sometimes isn't like the best purchase because most people don't want to like watch videos about old eyeshadow palettes, if that makes sense. So I kind of need to think through my purchases, but if I had the extra money, this is one that's been on my list forever. It's one that I've wanted forever. I am a neutral lover, like I love neutrals. And this has gotten a great reputation as one of like the best neutral palettes. So this is definitely one I would be picking up. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll pick it up. Right now I've got so much makeup that I am working through at this time, but it's definitely one that like, I still think about, I still dream about it. And uh, maybe one day there'll be a time for us. And then another eyeshadow palette, kind of in that same vein. This is like, I need to have a ton of money to, to, drop, to drop it on this. The Natasha Denona Biba palette. Okay, this palette looks absolutely stunning. I've heard amazing things about it. It's $129. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But if I had the money, I would do it. So this is another one like in my dream world, I would absolutely be purchasing this one. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's got everything you need. I love Natasha Denona's formula, but for me, I just cannot spend that kind of money on an eyeshadow palette, but it's in my dream card in my dream world. And then the last two things I would pick up, and actually I will eventually pick them up, but I'm just not gonna do it right now, are two mascaras. So the first one is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. So interested in, I've really been wanting to try it, 
but I have quite a few mascaras in my collection that I want to work through first. I don't like having like a ton of mascaras in my collection. So this is one that I think eventually I will pick up. It looks like a stunning mascara. I've heard great things. And then another mascara that I'm interested in is a newer one. This is the Tower 28 Make Waves Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. I've heard so many creators rave about this mascara, how amazing it is. And I'm trying not to have like really high expectations with mascaras because my eyelashes are sad. They're sad. There's not a lot of mascaras that can do much for them to be honest with you. So I don't know how much it's really gonna make a big difference in my lashes, but I am usually much more of a drugstore mascara person because I either A, wear lashes, or B, like I just said, mascaras don't do a ton for me, so I'm fine to just use a drugstore mascara. And there's a lot of good ones out there, so. But those two mascaras are two that I think I would definitely pick up if I had that money laying around, and if I didn't have these mascaras in my collection I already have. Okay, and that is it for this Sephora dream cart building video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you gonna shop for the sale? Are you gonna skip the sale? What are you gonna pick up? If you are gonna pick up things from the sale, I would love to know your thoughts. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.